Oh man, we love those cuts. Now you can sense a bit of a hush has come over our studio. We've got a dual broadcast going with the Good Hope Breakfast team at the moment. And at this very moment, Nigel is busy chatting to Claudia Mozzaning, of course, our CEO, about 90% SA Music. And maybe I can put that to the rest of the team. We love our local talent. Can we fill that gap? This is quite an offering that we're asking our industry to do. Well, I think it's very interesting, you uh, Sorry, Greg. Mm. I think it's interesting because obviously there's not just one genre of local music. Currently, I think hip-hop and quiet gets a lot of airplay. But I think it's also great now for jazz, for reggae, for gospel, for independent labels. So I think it's going to be an interesting kind of shift in genres. Um, and Dale, maybe I can put it to you, um, you know, the fact that, that we have seen these artists growing and so much pressure to open up the industry, do you think this is going to do it? Yeah, big time, man. And I also think it's going to encourage more youngsters coming from school to say, look, I can't pursue a career in the music industry now because radio is now going to give me that platform where, where more industry and business can be created. And bigger picture, you have the likes of Sanjay and Eden who've been recording music in their back studios. And now they can say, no, but there's a chance for us. We have a shot. We don't have to just sing in Durbanville at, at, at Sucky Nights anymore, <laughs> you know? So very excited. Yeah, man. Well, that's the teacher and you coming out. Well, we're going to get a synopsis of what Laurie has to say about this incredible move for the industry. Oh, but the fun continues on your Feel Good Breakfast show.